When we last left Prize Fight, the PS3 was up by two points. Let's see how it ends. Now, the main attraction in the next gen consoles, at least for me, are the online services. Xbox Live has gained a huge cult following since it launched. The ability to play with your friends on the network, send messages and text and voice, customize your interface, and most recently rent and view movies and television shows, well, it's a lot of fun. The PS3 has had a year to get it right with their PlayStation Network, but unfortunately it falls short. It does have a nice web browser, but managing your friends list and communicating with them is less than optimal. The seamless integration of Xbox Live with normal gameplay is stellar, and unfortunately the PS3 has a long way to go. I should also mention that Live is $50 a year, while PlayStation Network is free, but you get what you pay for. The 360 ends this round with a solid 5, and the PS3 waddles with a 3. Well, wow, nice comeback, Xbox. The scores are tied going into round 4, performance. Of course, games look really amazing on both consoles. The 360 is on its second generation games by this point, so titles like Gears of War look way better than games did when the console first appeared. Now, that'll be the same with the PS3, but right now it's experiencing some growing pains. The games look awesome, but not as awesome as we'd expect with a processor this good. It's not just my eyes either. GameSpot did rigorous testing with identical third-party titles on both consoles and picked the 360 as a clear winner in terms of graphics. And I'm not going to argue with the experts. Unfortunately, there's no HDMI on the Xbox 360 yet, but the PS3 does have it. That means the PS3 offers more convenient hookups to HDTVs, and it's also easier to get 1080p image from the PS3. And hopefully more titles will start to take advantage of that soon. So where does that leave us? Well, the PS3 has a lot of untapped potential, but the Xbox is delivering right now. The 360 gets a 5 again, and the PS3 gets a 4. The PS3 is down by 1 now, but will it rally in our final round? Available titles will seal the deal. Now we've seen how good these look, not only in your living room, but also on the TV. But what have we got on the content side? Well, the Xbox 360 has had ample time to deliver loads of great games, and in my opinion, they have delivered. And with fantastic new titles like Gears of War and Rainbow Six Vegas, they're setting the bar high. PS3 is missing a fantastic must-have launch title, but personally, I enjoyed Dark Kingdom, seen here, and Genji. But they didn't have that wow factor that current Xbox games have. However, different people like different games, so let's not dwell on that too much. There are over 150 available game titles for the Xbox. The PS3 right now has under 40 games. This too will change in time, but if you want content now, you'd better go with the Xbox 360. I'm giving the Xbox another 5 and the PS3 a 3. Well, the final scores are in. The Xbox has a 23 and the PS3 has a 20. The Xbox 360 has fended off the newcomer PS3, for now anyway. I want to emphasize that the PS3 is still new and there's a lot of room for growth. Maybe we'll have a rematch when the PS3 hits its first anniversary. But for right now, the Microsoft Xbox 360 comes out on top. You can email me at prizefight@cnet.com with suggestions for future matchups and your Sony fanboy hate mail. I'm Veronica Belmont. I'll see you next time. For more video like this, go to CNET.com and click on CNET TV.